Algebra 2 CRAM, New York State Algebra 2 Regions, Common Core, Key Facts, Trigonometric Identity, Question 2, the cosine of A degrees times B degrees plus the sine of A degrees times B degrees. All right. To order this complete CRAM session, email me at memedicine at gmail.com for pricing and ordering, and definitely inquire about other subject areas available, okay? Let's delve into the problem. Review question two. The expression the cosine of 40 degrees times the cosine of 10 degrees plus the sine of 40 degrees times the sine of 10 degrees is equivalent to one, the cosine of 30 degrees, two, the cosine of 50 degrees, three, the sine of 30 degrees, or four, the sine of 50 degrees. You decide. Definitely press pause right now and take a moment to formulate your solution. Okay? All right, so hopefully by now you've arrived at the correct answer, but if you haven't, that's fine. Let's do this together. Okay. So you can notice that um, this expression, the cosine of 40 degrees times sine, uh, the cosine rather of 10 degrees plus the sine of 40 degrees times the sine of 10 degrees is of the form the cosine of A times the cosine B plus the sine of A times the sine B, okay? And you should know that this is equivalent to the cosine of A minus B. So. <laughs> This pretty much sums up our solution, but let's um, specify some of the terms, okay? We're gonna let A be equivalent to 40 degrees and B be equivalent to 10 degrees, okay? All right, so therefore the cosine of A minus the cosine of, um, the cosine of A minus B is going to be the cosine of 40 minus 10 degrees, which is obviously going to be equivalent to the cosine of 30 degrees, okay? So our correct answer choice is going to be answer choice one, the cosine of 30 degrees. You could have also easily solved this problem on your handy dandy graphing calculator. And why is it so easy to solve? Because both A and B are acute angles. They're both located in um, quadrant one, okay? So when the angle is acute, that means it's bound between 0 degrees and 90 degrees. Um, using a calculator is easy. You can solve it accurately. Um, but using a calculator gets a little tricky if the angle is not in quadrant one. It's not impossible. It's not even all that difficult. You just have to orient yourself more carefully, okay? But here we don't have to do that. So let's just jump into the graphing calculator solution. And the series of calculators I'm referring to with this illustration is going to be the TI8 dot dot dot, whether it's your 83 or 84, the keys and the process is very similar. And even if you're not a TI um, Texas Instrument graphing calculator user, if you have another brand, I assure you the process is almost probably the same. It's just the keys might be located in a different place or be called something else, okay? All right, so let's look at the solution on a graphing calculator. The first thing you're going to want to do is basically ensure that you're in degree mode. So on your TI instrument, you're going to hit mode and this screen should pop up or something that looks very similar to this. Now, um, the flickering cursor is going to hover over normal. What you wanna do now is press the down arrow once so that you can have it flickering over float, press the down arrow once more so that it can be flickering over radians, and then press the right arrow so it's flickering over degrees, okay? And at this point, you are locked into degree mode. You don't need to press enter to lock the setting. All you need to do now is hit second quit, I mean second mode, and that will allow you to quit the screen and go back to the home screen, okay? All right, I'll give you a moment to take all of that in because the next thing that we're going to do now is we're going to actually input the cosine of 40 degrees times the cosine of 10 degrees plus the cosine of 40 degrees times the sine of 10 degrees. We're gonna put that in to our calculator, okay? So hopefully you're ready for it because it's kind of lengthy. 
empathy, but it's pretty straightforward. So you're going to hit the cosine button and it comes preloaded with an open parentheses. Then you're going to enter 40, which is fine because you're now in degree mode. So 4 is 0. You're going to close the parentheses. Then you're going to hit cosine again. And your calculator understands this as multiplying this cosine by this cosine. And again, it comes preloaded with an open parentheses. Um, you're going to press 1, 0 for 10. Close that out that function. And then you're going to add by pressing the pot plus button, the sign. Okay, so you're pressing the sign button, which also again comes preloaded with an open parentheses. And you're gonna type four zero for 40, close out that set of parentheses. Now you're going to do the sign um, of 10. So one zero and close out that set of parentheses, okay? Huh, hopefully this wasn't too overwhelming because now for the moment of truth, you're going to hit enter. And when you hit enter, you're going to get this answer, okay? So this is um, your answer. We're not going to change it into a fraction or anything like that because we don't need to. The answer choices are all degree measurements. So what we can do now is just go ahead and plug and chug and use process of elimination, okay? to figure out which one is the correct answer choice. And uh, right off the bat, when we um, input the cosine, so we do that by hitting cosine three zero, close parentheses of 30, okay, hit enter. We see that is it is the correct answer choice because it matches up to what we figured out up here, okay? So that's nice and neat, but if it were all the way in answer choice four, you would still need to go through these to figure out which is the correct angle, okay? All right, thanks for your time. That's it.